have you been done wrong? I mean, has someone just blatantly done something to you that you can't understand? You don't understand their reasoning. You, you know, there's all these things that come in. And then as I say that, I kind of think to myself, what a rhetorical question, right? Who hasn't been done wrong? Well, I'm in St. Louis, Missouri tonight, and there's the arch, and there's the American flag, and I'm here in St. Louis. I'm here because I have an RV, and a renter rented it, and then decided to abandon it in Cheyenne, Wyoming. So a friend and I came out, flew out on a Saturday morning, um, drove two hours to Cheyenne, Wyoming from Denver, Colorado, uh, and now I've been driving for a day and a half to get back to North Carolina. And today, as I was thinking, you know, man, just how wrong, how, you know, and all these things are going through my head that all these things that were done, you know, why didn't they do this? Why didn't they do that? It really, it's bothered me. But today I've really been focusing on, you know, obeying God. God says to forgive. So if that's where you are, if someone's done you wrong and you're struggling with it, I know, I know how it feels. Um, you know, it's, it's not right. Been, been done wrong. I've been done wrong. But God says to forgive them. Now, there's still things that we can do, right? People should still be held responsible to contracts and people should be, you know, held responsible for their actions. So I want to encourage you, just obey God. Really focus in on what God wants you to do, what kind of example. And I'll be praying for you, and I hope you'll be praying for me because I need to apply the same type of thing to my life. If um, I can help you in any way, or if you want to learn more about the Handling Life ministry, uh, please visit handlinglife.org. A quick follow-up to my video about, you know, forgiving and letting things go and you know, dealing with them as they come along. So about an hour after I made that video in St. Louis, um, we get back on the road and we're driving and you know what happens? The vehicle breaks down, completely stops running on the interstate. So now it's, you know, one o'clock in the morning, we're sitting on the side of the road. Um, Tow company tells us why they are 24 hours. They won't be back in the office till 7 a.m. in the morning. Won't crank. And you know what the first thought that comes to my mind? And the second thought and the 15th thought and that afterwards is how, so, you know, how I should be aggravated, how mad I should be. And I started to. And I thought, you know what? No, I have to practice what I preach. If I'm going to tell other people, hey, you know, watch how you react to things. I got to do the same. So just calm down, took a deep breath, said a prayer. Um, actually messaged the mechanic who had been working on it. He said, hey, just sit there for a few minutes. Sit there for about 30 minutes and cranked back up. Something had gotten overheated or something. So we had it checked out in the morning. Everything looked good and that. But, you know, that's the way life works, right? Right when we think we have control of something, right when we think everything is going, you know, oh, I'm, I've, I've got this under control, then something happens. And that was for me that evening of, oh, well, you know, I'm going to forgive this person. I'm going to work through it all and trust God. And then something comes along that really challenges. Am I going to practice what I preach? And I'm still practicing what I preach because I still am dealing with, you know, things of bills and who's going to pay for what and all that. But I do want to practice God's word. I want to apply God's word to my life so that I can get the relationship and I can get the things from the relationship, the joy and the patience and the forgiveness and, and all of those things that come from serving the Lord. So I hope you'll take this to heart. And if you want to learn more, you can visit handlinglife.org.